Alright, we are in section 6.1, Use Similar Polygons. We're talking about similarity now, um, not congruency. There's a slight difference, not a huge difference. Um, but we're going to learn the differences, which is great. First of all, a definition. Two polygons are similar polygons if corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding side lengths are proportional. Proportional, um, we're going to set up some ratios um, or fractions to check. That's awesome. Um, to check proportionality. So here we have um, a quadrilateral. I have A, B, C, D is similar to. That right there means similar to E, F, G, H. Okay, this term right here means is similar to, or this, sorry, this um, shape means is similar to. So I have A, B, C, D is similar to E, F, G, H. You can see they're not congruent. This one's much smaller than this one. But um, if we said similar polygons, the corresponding angles are congruent. So I have A is congruent to E, B is congruent to F, C is congruent to G, and D is congruent to H. But the side lengths are um, proportional. So if I divide AB by EF, AB divided by EF, I would get a number that's equal to BC divided by FG, CD divided by GH, and DA divided by HA. Sorry, that's not right. H-E. One mistake caught. Awesome. Okay, so we have congruent angles and proportional sides. Let's learn about it. So first I want to list all the pairs of congruent angles. Okay, this are says, the statement says that triangle RST is similar to triangle XYZ. So we know that angle R is congruent to angle X because they're first they're both listed first angle S is congruent to angle Y because they're both listed second angle T is congruent to angle Z because they're listed third and if you look at the triangle R RST um, X, Y, Z. So R is congruent to X, S is congruent to Y, T is congruent to Z. List all the pairs of congruent angles. Now we're going to check the ratios of the corresponding side lengths are equal. Okay, I'm going to set up those ratios. I have RS over XY, um, ST over YZ and TR over ZX. I just did RS over XY, ST over YZ, and RT over XZ. RS is 20, XY is 12, 20 divided by 12 is um, simplifies to 5 over 3. ST is 30 over 18. That simplifies to 5 over 3. And TR is 25 over ZX is 15. That also simplifies to 5 over 3. Because these three um, ratios are congruent, are equal, then it is proportional. Okay? Write the ratios of the corresponding side lengths in a statement of proportionality. Okay? That just means we're going to say because, yikes, the ratios are equal. We can say that. RS over XY is equal to ST over YZ is equal to TR over ZX. This right here is our statement of proportionality. Good job. Okay, try this one. 
Given triangle JKL is similar to triangle PQR, list all the pairs of congruent angles, write the ratios of the corresponding side length in a statement of proportionality. Okay, so if you need to draw the triangles first, that's fine. J, K, L, and P, Q, R. When you write your pairs of congruent angles, make sure you do so in the correct order. And when you write your statement of proportionality, make sure you do so in the correct order. I'm going to go ahead and push pause, and you're going to try this one on your own. Okay, there are the two things that the question is asking for. Um, list all the pairs of congruent angles, and then write the ratio of the corresponding side lengths in a statement of proportionality. So this right here is the ratio of the corresponding side lengths, which is called a statement of proportionality. Okay, another vocabulary word, scale factor. If two polygons are similar, then the ratio of the lengths of the two corresponding sides is called the scale factor. In example one, the common ratio of five over three is the scale factor of triangle RST to triangle XYZ. And if you remember, we just did this one a few minutes ago, we got that by saying RS over XY is 20 over 12, which is, sorry about that, which is five over three. This right here is your scale factor, okay? So we did 20 over 12 is 5 over 3, 30 over 18 is 5 over 3, 25 over 15 is 5 over 3, the scale factor. So next example, determine whether the polygons are similar. If they are, write a similarity statement and find the scale factor of Z, W, X, Z, Y, X, W, to F, G, H, J. Okay, so we need to determine if these are congruent. So the first thing we do is look at the angles. Okay, identify the pairs of congruent angles. And I'm going to look for the arcs. I've got single arc, single arc, um, perpendicular, double arc, triple arc. So we know that F is congruent to Z. J is congruent to W, H is congruent to X, and Y is congruent to, oh, I did that backwards, let me erase, I'm going to keep them in the same order, G is congruent to Y, okay? So all of the corresponding angles are congruent, check. Okay, the next thing we need to do is show that all of the sides are proportional. Okay, I'm going to do um, 16 over 20. If we see here, I have 16 over 20 um, because between the single arc and the right angle, between the single arc and the right angle, these sides should be proportional. Next, I'm going to go to the right angle to the double arc, right angle to the double arc, and I have 12 over 15. Then double arc to triple arc, double arc to triple arc, 24 over 30, and then triple to single, triple to single, 20 over 25. Let me check all these now. We're going to simplify those fractions. Okay, this gives me, if I divide the top and the bottom by, um, hold on, did I do that right? Yes, I did. If I divide the top and the bottom by 4, I get 4 goes into 16 4 times, 4 goes into 25 times. Divide the top and the bottom by, let's see, 3. 3 goes into 12 4 times, 3 goes into 15 5 times. Divide the top and bottom by 6. 6 goes into 24 4 times. 6 goes into 35 times. And then I'm going to divide the top and the bottom by 5. 5 goes into 24. 5 goes into 25. 5. All right. It looks like our ratios are all equal. Okay. So our answer is 
Z W X sorry Z Y X W is similar to F G H J okay the scale factor is we actually have to make the scale factor backwards we did go from smaller no we didn't we went from bigger to smaller Okay, it doesn't matter. The scale factor is 4 over 5. So we have two answers. The proportionality, um, sorry, the similarity statement. The similarity statement states that this quadrilateral is similar to this quadrilateral, and then the scale factor, which are this all of these. Okay, the scale factor and the similarity statement. Another example. In the diagram, triangle DEF is similar to triangle MNP. Find the value of x. Okay, I had to stretch back into my Algebra 1 skills and remember how to do ratios. All right, so if we know these two triangles are similar, we can set up a proportionality, um, write a proportion, and then solve for the variable. So if you remember, proportions are just when you have two fractions, let's just say one half equals, I don't know, x over 10, and you solve for x. Okay, I've always cross multiplied either up or down, it doesn't matter. One times 10 equals x times two, and then solve for x. Okay, those are proportions, and we're solving proportions. So if DEF is congruent to MNP, okay, I'm going to pull the, the sides that make sense. EF has the X in it. I need to set that in a proportional with 20. So I'm going to say EF over NP is equal to, and I can choose this side or that side. It doesn't matter because you know these triangles are similar, it doesn't matter which one you choose. So I did EF over NP, I'm going to take ED over NM. And now let's substitute. I have X over 20 equals 9 over 12. I just substituted. Now I'm going to multiply. I get 12X equals 20 times 9 is 180. Divide both sides by 12. And I get x equals 15. So all we did here was set up a proportion, um, do the cross products, and find x equals 15. All right, let's try a U-try. In the diagram, ABCD is similar to QRST. Okay, what is the scale factor of QRST QRST to ABC? Okay, this is important. We're going QRST to ABC, D. That means that um, when you set up your proportion to find your scale factor, you need QRST on the top. Okay, I know it's crazy, but you can do it. Go ahead and finish it on your own, and then find the value of x. I'm pushing pause. Okay, there we go. The scale factor is 1 over 2, um, and that is written correctly because I did QRST over ABCD, and then finding the value of x. Um, here I did 6 over 12, then I did 4 over x. Okay, we have to make sure if you go from QRST to ABCD, you have to go from QRST to ABCD both times. 6 over 12, 4 over x. You cannot do 6 over 12 and then x over 4. Okay, they have to be QRST on the top, ABCD on the bottom. Every time. QRST, ABCD. QRST, AB, well, this is solving it, sorry. QRST, ABCD. Okay, we're taking a video break, and I'll finish the rest in a minute.